Hey guys, welcome to my 22 week update. I really don't know what to say after that. Um, this week, a baby is the size of a water bottle. I don't really have a lot of details on that because there's a lot of different water bottle sizes. But according to my Ovia app, he is the size of a water bottle. He's also the size of a guinea pig, <laughs> which guinea pigs freak me out. So, um, but I do know like what they look like. Um, we had hamsters growing up and my cousins had a guinea pig when I was younger. And I remember just being freaked out by that thing, but I loved my hamster. I had a teddy bear hamster and I loved him. I think I named him Henry. And yeah, I guess I wasn't freaked out by him, but I don't know. Now I could never imagine like getting my kids like any kind of animal like that. <laughs> we have a cat. I'm trying to convince Anthony of a dog and that's enough. <laughs> anyway, baby is also the size of a corn on the cob or a spaghetti squash. So he's getting bigger. Uh, this week, baby's eyes are basically fully... Um, like in place, they're fully developed. They do lack the eye pigment, so they don't have a color yet. Um, so that still needs to happen. He is producing more hormones. Um, his inner ear is finished developing, so he now has a sense of balance, although he really doesn't need balance right now since he's in the womb. But when he, you know, starts walking and things like that, he will need it. He also is um, able to explore and touch things. He can touch the umbilical cord, he can touch his face, his body, um, just working on those motor skills. So he is very busy in there. I feel him more and more each week. I still think he's a lazy baby though because I don't feel him as often as I think I should. <laughs> I feel him in the mornings and I feel him in the evenings, but it's very seldom, it's not a lot, but I do feel him, you know, often during the day. Um, sometimes I feel just like a kick here or there, sometimes I feel like a couple quick jabs. So the movements are definitely changing, but I still think he's a very lazy baby, which I'm hoping that just means he's going to be a very chill baby because Grayson is crazy and constantly moving. And so I need my second child to be more chill and go with the flow. I'm hungry a lot more lately, I've been noticing, although I'm having the issue to where like I'll want meals and then I'll want obviously snacks in between, but like nothing sounds good snack wise. So I've been having a lot of problems with that. Really the only snack that I want is like ice cream <laughs> and that's it. So um, yeah, I'm st I've been struggling on finding something yummy that I want to eat in between meals, but I am getting hungrier. My sleep, some days I sleep just fine and other days I can't sleep for the life of me. Um, two days ago I had a hard time sleeping. I couldn't fall asleep and then I kept waking up in the middle of the night. I had a crazy scary dream and so that wasn't helping and I don't know it's like sometimes I just can't fall asleep. I am I just like have so much energy for some reason even though I know I should be tired and then other times like I just wake up in the middle of the night and my head is just like got too much going on with it and so I just can't fall back asleep. Um, I don't know if that's also because, like, I get uncomfortable. Like, sometimes when I wake up from sleeping, like, my back will really hurt. Um, but it doesn't last very long. It just lasts for, like, an hour or two. I have a pregnancy pillow. It's called the Snoogle. It's like a C-shaped, um, pregnancy pillow. I used it quite a bit last pregnancy with Grayson, and with this pregnancy, every night I try and get it out, and I try and, like, get comfortable with it, but for whatever reason, like, I cannot get comfortable with it. So I constantly, I'll bring it up on the bed, and then before I fall asleep, it ends up on the floor again. So I'm trying to get more used to it. I think the problem is, like, I'm just not used to sleeping with a bunch of pillows. I have one pillow that I sleep with and then I have one that I put in between my legs and like usually when I'm not pregnant like that's enough. And so I mean I'm sure I would love to have a pillow that like 
cradles my bump more and like gives me like back support but for some reason like I just can't get comfortable with it. So I'm still working on it but it's been really tough. My emotions are still going pretty crazy. Um, they're not as bad this week but I do um, see days where I'm like happier and days where I'm like more moody. Um, this week Ohio has announced that they are going to start opening up a lot more and so starting next week you can start to get your hair done, your nails done, um, you can go to indoor restaurants in a couple weeks. So I feel like that positive outlook and things opening back up is starting to help my mood and like just I see the light at the end of the tunnel we're not going to be stuck in our homes forever. Anthony is starting back at work. He was furloughed for three weeks. Um, from his job at Honda and they have started back up. He's still gonna be working at home But he is starting to work again. So it's like things are starting to get back to normal So I just feel like I'm not so I'm not as stressed. I'm still stressed um, Stress is another big thing while I'm talking thinking about that um, I've been really stressed lately. We had a baby moon trip planned for Seattle, Washington. We, Anthony and I had never been there. We were just going to go for a couple days and sightsee. And we had to cancel that due to the coronavirus. And so that brought a lot of stress on me trying to like figure out if we were going to be able to get our like full refund back and having to call everything and cancel everything and just being like let down that that trip wasn't going to happen. I've also been stressing because my sister is due to get married on June 20th. So it's like a little more than a month away. And I feel like I'm stressing about it more than she is because I just don't know what the world is going to look like in June, especially in Ohio. We are starting to open up, but the question is how fast are we going to open up? So I'm really stressed. I just want that day to be like what she wants it to be and perfect and I don't want anything to ruin it and I don't want us to have to like have people not come or not have a ceremony or a reception at all like I want her like it's your wedding day like you dream about your wedding day I I mean I had an awesome wedding day sure things went wrong but I mean what doesn't when you get married like there's always something that goes wrong so I'm really stressed for her it's not even my wedding I'm in it obviously um, actually, I'm in it, Grayson is in it, and Anthony is in it. We're all in it, and so I'm just stressed about it. Um, her bachelorette party is coming up soon. We're supposed to go to Miami. Miami hasn't opened fully yet, so I'm just stressing about all these things, which I know is not good for pregnancy and for the baby, but thankfully I'm not. I'm only 22 weeks, so it's not like if I stress too much, I'm gonna give birth or anything, like I'm not even close to that, but I am very stressed lately. I've been really thirsty lately, I've been drinking a ton of water, um, uh, sometimes I'll get like lemonade here or there, um, and sometimes I do drink coffee here or there. Uh, baby goes crazy <laughs> when I drink coffee, probably because of the caffeine, but yeah, I don't, I don't drink it every day, it's every couple days. My nails are growing longer, I have realized. Um, like I'll cut them and then like a, a couple days later they are like already fully grown back. It's so crazy. So yeah, that's been growing longer. I don't know about my hair. I think it's been growing like normal. I don't feel like it's growing really long. Um, before I got pregnant I got it cut really really short like to my shoulders. And so now I guess it's like a little past it. And I got a haircut like forever ago. So, um, I don't really feel like my hair is any different, but I, de I can definitely tell a difference in my nails. My belly is growing bigger. I'll show you a bump shot. Okay, so my arm is like in the way, and again, this is like a terrible shirt. Um, but here is my belly. I'm definitely getting bigger. This is just like a regular shirt, and up until now it fit just fine. But my belly is protruding so much that it's starting to like ride up and <laughs> you can almost kind of like see my <laughs> like the bottom of my belly so I don't think I'm gonna be able to wear this shirt a lot more. I wear just like old shirts from college and things um, for my nighttime shirt and then I just wear like sweatpants and I've noticed that a lot of my shirts I'm not able to wear anymore. Um, it just like my belly makes it it fits so tight it's not even comfortable so I've had to put a lot of those away. Towards the end of my last pregnancy with Grayson I had to start borrowing clothes from my husband and wear his shirts at night, so I'm sure that will happen again. 
This pregnancy, I'm not going to be doing a maternity shoot. I did one last pregnancy and I feel like one is good enough. Like, unless I end up like with multiples later, like in other pregnancies, I don't feel the need to keep taking more pictures, professional pictures of my bump. I've been taking like weekly pictures, just like selfies, but I don't feel like I need professional pictures again. Um, but today, actually, uh, later today, uh, we're going to go and meet with a photographer and get Grayson's two-year-old um, pictures done. We were supposed to get it done a month ago, but because of coronavirus, photographers' businesses were all closed down, and so now that we're opening back up, they're able to do it. And so we're going to go outside and just take a couple pictures, not much, of him. And I asked if we could do a family picture, and she was like, yeah, sure, of course. So I will be wearing like a dress, and I'm sure you'll be able to see my bump in it, so that'll be like... Well, I'll have that picture, and then if, as long as my sister's wedding goes off and everything, we will be having professional pictures at that, and so of course you'll see my belly then too, but this will be the only like family picture, I think, not including the wedding, that we're going to get of me pregnant, so I guess technically like I have one <laughs> shot with my belly. So I'm really looking forward to that, I think it'll be really great. It's sunny out right now, it's supposed to be sunny the rest of the day, the only problem is it's cold. It's always supposed to get to like a high of 51 today. I so wish I lived in like California or one of the southern states that's like so much more warmer because Ohio is just so unpredictable. Um, last weekend it was 70s and it perfect and now this weekend it's like 50s and cold. <laughs> so you just never know what you're going to get in Ohio but the session is supposed to be short. It's only going to be like a half hour so we won't freeze too much. The other thing I've been thinking about more, well, I've been thinking about more names for a baby uh, lately. Anthony really hasn't, he didn't help much with Grayson. I had to basically like force him like two months before the baby was born um, to brainstorm with me and this time he's kind of just let me take the reins of it. So I have a couple names that I'm liking. Um, I guess I can say them here. I like Silas, I like Porter, I like Archer, which Archer we were considering um, for Grayson's name, um, but ultimately we went with Grayson. And I also like Reed. So um, just giving you a couple ideas of things that I like. I don't know if I'm going to pick any of those names or if I'm going to have to keep, go back to the drawing board and pick some new names. Um, this happened last pregnancy. I had I had it whittled down to four names for Grayson's name. Grayson was named one of the four names. And uh, Anthony basically told me, like, you pick... I like all four names, so whichever name you pick, that will be the name. And I ended up hating all the names and not picking any of them, and so we had to go back to the drawing board. So just because I have these four names does not mean that I'm going to pick it, but I like names that are not super popular. I tend to like names that you can shorten, like I love how Grayson's name is because you can shorten it to Gray. So, but I don't want to sound too matchy. Like, I really like the name Aiden, but Grayson and Aiden, I feel like that just sounds so similar. Like, I kind of want a different name. Um, I really like the name Heath as well, but it's just so, it's so short and it's so different. I don't know. But anyway, so that's kind of my thought process right now, but we have not picked a name yet, but we are thinking about it. I think that's going to be it for this um bump date. I don't really have anything else to say, I don't think. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel, put a comment down below, introduce yourself. I love talking to my followers, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!